Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're talking about Planet Crafter, the prologue. That's right, guys. This game just popped on Steam. It's an early release. It's got only like a little bit going on there, and I'm going to tell you if you should or shouldn't play it. But before I do that, I want to address something very, very important about this game. This game has resources distributed all over the bloody planet, and a lot of them are silicon. So if you see silicon and you're on a foreign planet, you're thinking, oh, cool, man, there's going to be aliens, like alien hotties with giant mommy milkers. But there isn't. So, before I go into the pros and cons, meet you games, whoever makes this, it's still an early release, you can fix this, get on that stuff, alright, cool. Also, you get an exoskeleton, and that upgrades your equipment, <laughs> so if my equipment got upgraded, uh, yeah, I really want those aliens. Anyways, let's get right into this. First off, guys, yeah, what am I gonna say? It's a planet crafter survival builder type game where you go and step and fetch resources etc etc and it's on a foreign planet so you know elon musk likes this game <laughs> thumbs up from elon uh, i know guys it's it's actually a pretty good game it's fun i think there's a lot of things that they could improve for the freaking final release but let's go through them i'm going to give you some pros first like i said game's fun it has huge potential it has a ton of potential you get to make structures you get to mine resources you get to create your own little terraform or biosphere or your own little base building and it's not just making like generic structures like tables and chairs and stupid shit like that you get to actually make quite a few different things so there's a ton of variety a ton of things you can do you can build your own little cities kudos to that it has again a ton of freaking potential there are a bunch of cons though and in nor or in no order pardon me first con I'm gonna say is the game's grindy like it, it really is you go get some stuff you step in you fetch it you build something you go back out you get some oxygen you go build it you grab it you build another thing it's quite grindy and right now the resources are randomly distributed across the planet imagine if you were baking a cake you have the icing on it and then you want to put sprinkles on it you got colored sprinkles what do you do you just throw it randomly on top of the cake well that's kind of how the resources are distributed and it doesn't make a ton of sense for me you've got ice silicon cobalt magnesium titanium all within five feet of each other laying on the surface again weird lots of potential but yeah again they should probably fix that for the final release another couple things i'll notice is there's no tutorial so you kind of figure out what you need to do as you go you build your screens and it tells you how much energy and all this other stuff you got but a little tutorial would help so again recommending that for the final release and uh, also you can't name your game how weird is that right you just hit save game one save game two save game three so that's a little weird don't like that but overall guys i really enjoyed playing this game uh I, like I said, there's a ton of potential there. I would recommend trying it out. I would recommend leaving a review and even maybe just joining the developers on their Discord and giving them some feedback because apparently they're pretty open to suggestions. And uh, yeah, overall, pretty good game. I've got a ton more reviews coming up, guys. Let me know if there's something you want to see. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.